Hello everyone, I am Gagan. I am a 5th year PhD student at Stony Brook University working under the guidance of Prof. Anshul Gandhi. Today I will be talking about our uh, paper titled Reducing the Tail Latency of Microservices Applications via Optimal Configuration Tuning. This work was done in collaboration with Umabhavasha, Saurabh, Vikas, Krishna, Anurag and my advisor Anshul. Microservices architecture, due to its various advantages, is replacing monolithic or multi-tier architecture. Since most of the applications implemented using this architecture are customer-facing, the performance is crucial. However, the performance depends on the configuration of the application. So as you can see in this graph, we have uh, the performance numbers for three different configurations. On the y-axis we have the percentage difference in p95 latency compared to the p95 latency of the default configuration so the blue bar corresponds to the configuration c1 where we only tune the worker process parameter of the application and keep the rest of the parameters at their default values and just this produces up to 13 percent improvement in p95 latency compared to default configuration the configuration C2 corresponds to uh, the configuration where we tune all the parameters uh, of the uh, where we tune all the parameters of the application. This produces up to 46% uh, improvement in P9 file latency. The configuration C3 corresponds to all the parameters having the optimal values except for the worker process parameter, which is assigned a valid but bad config, and that reduces the performance of the application by uh, 100%. So this begs the question how to find the optimal configuration to maximize performance. Another important uh, challenge that we see is that the configuration space is extremely large in microservices applications. Let's consider that there are n number of microservices in our application. For simplicity, let's assume that there are p parameters per microservice and each of these parameters can take up c configurations. This makes the total possible configurations to c to the power of n plus p. Since modern microservice applications consist of hundreds to thousands of microservices, this number is extremely large. So how to find the optimal configuration to maximize performance in a very large configuration space? Apart from the challenges that we saw, there are other challenges when it comes to tuning parameters of microservices applications. The first one is the interdependency of parameters, that is the parameters can depend on the values of the other parameters in the same microservice or values of the parameters in a different microservice. Also, uh, the relationship between the parameter values and the performance need not always be linear. So, coming to the main objective of our project how to find the optimal configuration to maximize performance in a very large configuration space with interdependent parameters that have non-linear relationship with performance so to tackle this problem we formulate the problem of uh, finding the optimal configuration as a black box uh, optimization problem uh, wherein we wherein we uh, wherein the goal is to find the configuration that optimizes the metric of interest over all the available configurations so to do that uh, <coughs> we implement an automation framework as shown in this figure uh, the details of this framework can be found in the paper but to briefly describe uh, what it does uh, so there's a controller that uh, queries the optimizer where the or different optimization algorithms are running for a configuration that controller takes this configuration creates the docker compose files that are needed to bring up the application and uh, uses docker compose to bring the application up then it runs the workload through the client and collects the metrics from the application the request traces of these applications are also stored all of these are provided um, uh, the request is provided as an input to the dimensionality reduction module which uh, outputs a list of uh, a subset of microservices that are to be tuned then based on this the optimizer only tunes those parameters uh, further details can be found in the paper 
commit the optimization algorithms that we uh, use. Uh, we use heuristic based probabilistic algorithms which include simulated annealing and dynamically dimensioned search. Uh, we also use population based algorithms wherein we use pop particle swarm optimization and genetic algorithms. We also use sequential model based algorithms which are uh, Bayesian optimization and tree structured parser and estimator. We also use an algorithm called hybrid wherein we combine the Bayesian optimization which is a model based algorithm and initialize it with fast uh, heuristic based algorithm like dynamically dimension search. Coming to the dimensionality reduction techniques, the first one is the critical path. Uh, the critical path is the path in a call graph that decides the latency of the request. So in this dimensionality reduction technique, we only consider microservices that fall along the path of the critical path. The second dimensional reduction technique is the source of bottlenecks. So here we use learning uh, techniques uh, to detect uh, microservices that are potential bottlenecks in the application. So we consider these as candidates to tune parameters. The third one is performance variance. Here we find the variance in the service time of each microservice and we only consider microservices whose coefficient of variation is above a certain threshold. The last dimensionality reduction technique is the variability along the critical path. Uh, in this case, we find first find the microservices that fall along the critical path and then choose the top five microservices that have the uh, highest variability in their service time. Coming to the experiment setup, uh, the benchmarking applications that we use are the social networking and microservices from the DEXA benchmark and the time decade application. So the social networking application mimics uh, Facebook type application and media microservices it mimics IMDB type uh, application and the train ticket application as the name suggests is used to book, uh, book and manage train tickets. Uh, coming to the cluster details, there are four servers each with 25 hypercores, 40 GB of memory and 250 GB of disk space. Uh, the workload consists of a mixture of request types and the proportion depends on the estimation of users pattern. In this slide, we'll be comparing the comparing different optimization algorithms. On the left y-axis, we have the percentage improvement in P95 latency over default configuration. On the right y-axis, we have the total time the optimization algorithm takes uh, to emit uh, a config. <coughs> As we can see, uh, the hybrid algorithm provides the best improvement of 43%. Uh, just to recall, the hybrid algorithm is a combination of Bayesian optimization and DDS. The Bayesian optimization algorithm is initialized with uh, the configs that DDS searches. In this slide, we compare uh, different dimensionality reduction techniques. Uh, similar to the previous graph, uh, on the left y-axis, we have the percentage improvement over default configuration. And on the right uh, y-axis, we have the optimization time. Uh, here we only consider uh, Bayesian optimization, DDS and hybrid for evaluation. We leave out the rest of the algorithms for uh, brevity. On the x-axis we have different dimensionality reduction techniques. Uh, as we can see, the hybrid algorithm using critical path plus variability. That is the microservices, the top five the microservices uh, that show the highest variance along the critical path. Uh, that dimensionality reduction technique provides up to 46% improvement. Uh, now we move on to the efficacy of dimensionality reduction techniques. On the left uh, graph, we have uh, the number of microservices that are to be tuned when we employ different dimensionality reduction techniques for the three benchmarking applications. SN corresponds to social networking, MM corresponds to media microservices, and TT corresponds to train ticket. On the right graph, we have uh, the number of top 20 parameters that are obtained by the F1 over analysis that are captured by different dimensionality reduction techniques for different benchmarking applications. So, although the different, uh, uh, as you can see, the critical on the left, as you can see on the left graph, the critical path plus variability where we explicitly choose only five uh, microservices, obviously uh, has the least number of uh, microservices to be tuned. Uh, and coming to the right graph, different dimensionality reduction techniques capture three to four out of the top five parameters from the F1O analysis, even though they're not able to capture all the top 20 parameters. 
in this slide we understand how different optimization algorithms converge to the optimal values uh, in the graph on the y-axis we have the percentage improvement in p and file latency compared to the default configuration on the uh, x-axis we have different iterations of the algorithms so in this uh, graph we have uh, only uh, runs of patient optimization and hybrid algorithm the green lines correspond to the hybrid algorithm and the cn lines correspond to the patient optimization algorithm so a point on the y-axis corresponding to an iteration i uh, is the best uh, config obtained up to that point so that's the reason why uh, the uh, graph is uh, growing towards the optimal uh, uh, towards the optimum value without any bad configs so as you can see you during the initial iterations of the algorithms uh, the uh, best configs obtained up to that point vary a lot but as the iteration number say after point after iteration 6 uh, the algorithms start to converge uh, this shows that uh, irrespective of whether we have a random config, initial config, uh, the algorithms eventually converge to the optimal value. Uh, in this slide, we understand uh, how different optimization algorithms assign values to some of the important parameters of the social networking application. We use F1 over technique to first uh, find what are the important parameters of the application. Just to note, uh, although FNO provides the top parameters of the application, we do not use it to uh, use it as a dimensional reduction technique as it is a costly process. So in table one, you, we see uh, the top five parameters of the social networking application as obtained by FNO analysis. We have the range and default values of these parameters also in the table. Uh, the values assigned by different optimization algorithms is on the right part of the table. Uh, so uh, the interesting part of this is that there are a lot of similarities and differences in the optimal configurations chosen by each algorithm. Uh, so for some of the parameters, the values are in similar. Uh, uh, the values are in close by ranges, and the uh, performance improvement provided is similar. This suggests that quantization can be done to reduce the uh, configuration space. Uh, yet uh, obtain the same performance improvements and the differences in uh, optimal configuration values uh, but uh, that provide the same performance improvement suggests that there are multiple optimal regions coming to the conclusion there are, uh, so there's a, there's up to 46 percent improvement in train latency through configuration tuning optimal uh, algorithm is application dependent combining algorithms provides better results optimal configuration of a microservice need not be same across the applications or even instances within the same application dimensionality reduction techniques based on system characteristics are an effective approach to the otherwise intractable problem of optimizing a large state space